इट्स रियली कन्फ्यूजिंग टू रिमेंबर हुच वन इज इपीनेफरिन एंड हुच वन इज नॉर इपीनेफरिन एंड वॉट इज देयर फंक्शनिंग इन पल्स रेट ब्लड प्रेशर एंड पेरीफेल रेजिस्टेंस टर्म्स सो लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट नॉर इपीनेफरिन एक्ट्स ओनली इन पेरीफेरल्स आर्टेरियल सिस्टम इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद दी हार्ट so when it is in peripheral arterial system it only acts on alpha receptor so it increases the contraction now when it increases the contraction so it increases both systolic blood pressure plus diastolic blood pressure but as the, the it has no effect on heart so it will follow the traditional shock situation where the pulse rate continue to decrease but epinephrine it is diagrammatically opposite to what is norepinephrine now epinephrine also acts on heart so it increases the heart rate and it increases the systolic blood pressure but it decreases the diastolic blood pressure why because it decreases the peripheral resistance so depending on uh, kind of shock or kind of uh, situation we dip, we use both uh, norepinephrine as norad and epinephrine as we have studied so norepinephrine is used in cases of septic shock or any other types of hypovolemic shock distributive shock because here our primary goal is to increase the blood pressure and hence improve the perfusion but in case of epinephrine it is given in cases of anaphylaxis where there is decrease in both blood pressure as well as heart rate now when there is both reduction so epinephrine is an ideal drug to do that one more point is that the uh, nor epinephrine physiologically is continuously secreted into the blood vessels whereas epinephrine are released in episodes from adrenal medulla